TV, baby. I'm gonna try to stay calm on this one, baby. I can't. I've got a bad boy here. I've got none other than Rocky Long. Rocky, I know you want to shake my hand, baby, but I, don't hit me with that, baby. I don't want that right here. Okay, right. let's go ahead and talk right quick, Rocky. We're over here. First of all, we're over here at North Texas MMA. We are in the heart of what I call MMA land. We are in Flower Mound. First of all, how you doing right now? I'm doing good. You had a good work at Oh, you're sweating like a dead gum pig right now, baby. Just losing that weight. How much weight you gonna have to cut? Probably got like three more pounds. Oh, shit, I, ain't nothing. Nothing. I fight at 45. I'm fighting at 55 at this one. So gotcha. It's, uh, it'll be okay. Okay, let's, be let's let's go and get down to what I call the five hand information. We got some moving action right here. We are Wednesday right now, June the uh, what is it? Day June the 13th. You're gonna be fighting down in Houston on the IMK3 card this Saturday the 16th. Tell me who you crawl in the cage with. Um, a guy named Chris uh, Rucker. Hey, it doesn't matter, does it, baby? No, not at all. I don't, <laughs> I don't care who it is. Well, I got to tell you, this man doesn't care because he's had over, what, 45, 48 fights, something like that? 48 fights. 48 so fights, golly. Yeah, 49 fights. 49. I want to tell you, this man right here started when there were no rules, baby. He's one of the pioneers right here. One of the guys that has seen the evolution of MMA from where it was when it first started to where it is now, right? Yes, sir. I was fought the first cage fight in Texas. What year was that? In 05, I believe. Oh, really? 05. Might have been 05. Well, who cares? It, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Rocky, what I want to really talk about right now, this guy right here that you're coming to the cage with, it doesn't matter. What do you know about him? Uh, nothing much, and I really, I really don't care. You really don't care. I don't care who he is. I fought everybody. I fought from the number one guy in my weight class to him. I, I'm just, just somebody else in there. Uh, you know, I signed the contract. Whoever's across the cage from me, I'm ready to go. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, five fans, the humbleness in this guy's heart. I'm going to tell you this: he is a six-time champion across the weights of 145 to 165. It doesn't matter. Bring him a piece of meat, and he'll meet it. Right? Yes, sir. Eat it up, baby. Just slam it in the cage, right? I just pay me. It could be in the cage, outside, in somebody's backyard. I don't care. <laughs> they pay me. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Jay, I'm sorry, baby. It's the first man to stump me, baby. <laughs> this man stumped me. I tell you what. I saw you over here. I saw you with Matt. You were hitting the mitts real good. Looks like your boxing game. Your rash. You had the wrestling coach here. A uh, wrestling coach here. I mean. God, let's talk, the camp's been pretty intense. Oh, it's been real good. I mean, I'm glad I got a chance to come out here and train and meet Jay Mendez and all this, you know, getting together out here so you can see what, um, and I, I came to work. That's it. Well, that, that, that he's done. I tell you right now, the footwork, everything that Matt has told him, he has followed it. I mean, I love it. Just watch out. Got an arsenal, a repertoire of, I, I'm just going to say, attack weapons that uh, come from everywhere. Uh, let me tell you, just ask me, if I, were, if I were to ask you this, I don't know if it's a fair question or not, what do you think? Your well-roundedness in the MMA game is striking, wrestling, the the, the jujitsu, uh, uh, grappling, the, the just everything, right? Is, is well, yeah, I'm good at everything. I get strike. I mean, the guys ain't gonna knock me out. That's that's just it. You know, that's not gonna happen. Um, we'll stand there. They'll take me down. You know, I usually end up submitting people because they put me to the ground. It doesn't matter though. We can stand there. They're not gonna knock me out. They're gonna waste their time. They want to throw with me. <laughs> Okay. Everybody says they're gonna stand there with me, and whenever it comes down to it, I hit them twice. We're on the ground wrestling around. That's why I'm not I'm not big on the whole face off forehead for a forehead. I always tell the guys you're gonna be hugging all over me tomorrow night. I don't need nobody in my face the day before. You know. Well, he's making weight at 155 against Mr. Rucker, whoever the person. The reason I give him a salute of Mr. Rucker, I tell you what, I salute all these guys who have balls of cast iron because that's what it takes to get in this cage baby when you see elbows ass oh, well, i didn't mean to say that part but you see elbows and you feet see fists coming at you baby you better be ready because it's on baby it ain't no bs it ain't no bull i can't say that either but it ain't no bs when you get in there with a man like this rocky how about some last minute predictions maybe what to, just tell me what can the fight fans if mr rucker was looking at you right now what would you tell him and the fight fans they can expect from rocky long well, Mr. Oh. Rucker's looking at me, he just needs to be, be aware of this and this. And uh, the fans, um, I hope, uh, I mean, I trained as hard as I could for this, so I'm ready. I, that's why I'm so confident. I'm not trying to be cocky or arrogant, no. but, but, I, but I've, I've been training, and that's what I do, so I'm ready for him. Baby. Who it was. Oh, shit. Let me stand in front of him. That ain't cockiness, baby. That's what you call the game of MMA and what us fight fans look for. We want the confidence when these men walk into the cage to do one thing, to bring us the action, the shot that we need. I'm telling you what, I'm going to... 
let Jay, I know Jay, you want to give a quick shout out to somebody down south. Go ahead and talk loud enough and we can get that. Yeah, I got some uh, fifth round fight management fighters down uh, south Texas. Uh, <clears throat> RGV, uh, Team Pound, Danny Salinas, uh, <clears throat> Joe Rodriguez, um, Raymond Moreno, uh, Frankie Trevino, uh, uh, Mr. Benavides, Benavides, Mr. Martial Arts, uh, uh, Luis Vega, uh, he'll be fighting here for Premier Fight Series, uh, fighting Chad Skelly. So um, I got a lot of great fighters, Rocky Long out of the Houston area, uh, my heavyweight, Tony Melton. So uh, uh, my guys are ready to fight all the time. Be ready. We thank you, Jay. I'm going to stand behind this camera. I'm going to look at this man here and get a nice close-up. Any last-minute shout-outs that you want to give out right now, Rocky? Uh, I just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to, to stay healthy throughout this camp, training camp. And uh, uh, that's about it. I mean, give it all, all thanks to him or else I wouldn't be here.